Hi, Miguel Goodbar for Adorama Rental Company, again here at NAB with John from ARI, and he's going to tell us about all the new products that in, in the lighting area that they have to announce this year. I have three new products I'd like to tell you about this year. The first is the M40. The M40 is an HMI, uses a 4,000 watt HMI lamp, but it is in our max technology reflector, so this gives the maximum amount of light, very smooth field, very crisp shadow, and you have spot to flood focus. The second is our M18. The M18 uses the 1800 watt lamp, also in the max reflector, and can work off a 20 amp outlet. But finally, what I'd like to show you, and we're very, very happy with, is our LED Fresnel, the L7C. It's color controllable, it is a Fresnel, has a very, very crisp shadow, it's barn durable, but you can decide if you want to work in correlated color temperature between 2800 and 10,000, or if you'd like to actually access hue and saturation in various colors. This is the M40. It's a 4,000 watt HMI that uses the max technology reflector, axial mounted so you get the maximum amount of light out of this unit for the amount of power draw that you're actually using. It is very popular because not only is it spot to flood, but you're able to get, again, the maximum amount of light and good crisp shadows. Here we have the M18. This lamp head also uses the max reflector, however in the power class of 1800 watts. And at 1800 watts with the associated ballast, you're able to plug it into a true 20 amp outlet, 120 watts. Okay, this is the L7C that behaves like a Fresnel, very good barn door cuts, very smooth feel. You can go from spot to flood by basically dialing in between 15 degrees and 55 degrees. There's a built-in brake, so when you let go, the lens tube automatically locks in position, so as you push on the barn doors, you're not gonna change the actual spread, beam spread. Now, on board, we have controls that you can change between your correlated color temperature, between 5600, where I am now, to 3200, or anywhere in between, just by changing the knob here. You also can go lower than 3200, all the way down to 2800 here, or you can go all the way up to 10,000 here. At whatever correlated color temperature you're at, you can also adjust your plus minus green in order to balance to other existing sources that you may have. Then I can switch between the daylight into hue and saturation. And now I can give it any color that I want and the amount of saturation that I may have. I can take the saturation out, which end up very close to a very pale color.